It's not enough to feel alone and not be heard Don't know right from wrong and your lines have all been blurred Is it me, is it you, or is it something I deserve? Cause everyone else knows the children of the world We are the children of the world We're going up, up, up Things are coming our way We are the children of the world We're rising up What's up, everyone? It is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, and it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 Celsius. And I'm live in Los Angeles at the intersection of London Street and Coronado Street. This is the start of the historic Filipino town, according to Google Maps. Today we're going to be touring a residential area and wherever else this takes me to. Thank you so much Anastasia Guskova for 400 Russian rubles. Appreciate it Anastasia. Hope everyone's doing well today. Thanks for joining in. I'm streaming at 1080p 60 frames a second. We're going to test the service right now in central Los Angeles because we're right near like where people live and not near any beaches or anything. So 
This should be a good test. It's definitely a lot of construction around here in Filipino town for lease. They're doing some work over here. Do not enter wrong way. What? Do not enter. How am I supposed to get past then? This is my first time in the area, by the way, so I don't really know too much about it. Carl Howard, five bucks. Look at you exploring in a strange, exotic, and distant city. That most certainly means they're going to need money. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it very much. TNT Master asking what part of Central LA am I in? I'm not even sure if you can call this Central LA. This is a historic Filipino town. I'm not sure which part of Los Angeles they would consider this as, but looks like it's in the middle of everything, really. Thank you, Steve Royal, 499. Appreciate it, Steve. There's a street up ahead that's called Temple Street. I saw that looks pretty wide and expansive. So we'll go check that out. Geshmak saying this is west of downtown LA. So what would you call this area? It's really close to my Airbnb in the Silver Lake area, which I just arrived today. A lot of Spanish being spoken here. Maybe they're doing something with the construction or just chatting. Geshmak says this area is called Rampart or Westlake. Yeah, I saw another area on Google Maps that said Rampart, but I thought it was a little bit west of here. According to that one that says this is historic Filipino town. Finisher says the rent's cheaper out here. I guess so, right? I guess it'll be less expensive than where I was yesterday at Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and um, Redondo Beach. Wow, what's going on here? This is Temple uh, Street. And over there you've got Temple Plaza. This is a evangelical church, it seems like. So this area was a violent area in 1980, Rampart. I don't think it's like that now. I was looking at this area, it seems like it's calmed down. That's good to know. Geshmak is part of the greater Westlake and Rampart neighborhood. It's going to be hard for me to cross the street here if I can at all. And should I even cross the street here? I may have to wait a long time to cross. Barnabas wouldn't cross, but that guy I just saw just did it. All right, we're gonna cross now. And that person's crossing, so. A 
I want to cross over there and then cross over here to see this temple plaza. Someone also asked about bike lanes. This is what you get. Yield to pedestrians, share the road. There's a seafood mart here, Dollar Hits, Temple Mart, Beauty Salon, Mom's Bake Shop. Seafood Market, LA Beauty, it's an optical store. That place looks pretty good, Dollar Hits Temple. There's some people out there eating already. Let's head west on Temple. Joanne says nobody walks in LA. That's very untrue because I'm doing it now and I'm proving everyone wrong. MP1-ish, is that a dollar store restaurant? I don't no. This area is completely new to me. So I'm getting near, so I'm comfortable with it. What's over here? Cactus 2510. There's also a cactus plant in front and a bunch of cacti over here. Chatsworth, 1979, 10 bucks. Love these LA walks. A few bucks for your expensive. Thank you, Chatsworth, 1979. Appreciate it very much. That's another thing I gotta mention too. This entire trip, I'm funding by myself. So, I'm really appreciative of the support you all are giving me that I'm able to do these kind of trips. All the viewerships, all the super chats, Patreon memberships, YouTube channel memberships, everything. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart that you really appreciate you're willing to stick with me with this. It's not cheap to do this trip on my own. The accommodations can be quite uh, pricey just because it's Los Angeles as well as uh, car service fees and everything. Hey, there's a pigeon that just flew off. Also, Los Angeles is known for its murals too. There's one that's going up. It's just started. What's over here? Donuts, Pizza Hut, 24-hour laundry, and a restaurant police. Who's honking their horn? I don't even know why they're even doing that. All right, here's Rampart Boulevard. We've got a few seconds to cross the street. Bob Merck with $20. Thank you, Bob Merck. Thank you so much, Bob Merck. And I saw another one from Dalek Dan, $5. Never seen this part of New York City before. It's not New York City. If you get hungry and want to try Filipino food, see if you can find any ballot or ding you guan. Okay. But he was saying A A. Do so you just want to say hi to the camera or was he yelling at someone else pulling out of the driveway there? You know, now I know why they call this Temple Street because there's another church over there. Iglesia Misionera de Vida.
that was the second like religious institution I saw. Yeah, prices here are exorbitant. I was just in downtown because I took a quick trip through there, and it could be like five dollars a gallon. Here's someone even offering to clean the windshield, wearing a. No wait, it's not a windshield uh, cleaner. I've seen them in New York City, but he's just got a mop on with an Iron Maiden shirt. There's another worship house, Lord of Harvest, Center of Hope. Yes, Amori, I remember cars can make a right turn on red, that's right. Marianne Burgess with $4.99. Do what you love. Keep up the good walk. Hello, Los Angeles. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. There's a dialysis place across the streets. Seems pretty quiet over there. There is a major street coming up called Silver Lake Boulevard. Maybe I'll go to Silver Lake and see what that area is. I don't know what day I'm going to Hollywood, but I'll eventually get there during my stay. There's another church there, Iglesia de Dios Pentecostal. Sunshine times, are there many parks in LA? I was looking at the park situation here and there's not too many. It is a big city and you would think that there's more parks, but they're really spread out and the green spaces that they got is like really small. There is uh, the Santa Monica Mountains and Topanga State Park and also the parks like past Hollywood where you can hike and stuff, but I don't really see too many parks in like the center of the city. You also got the beaches. You got that, I guess. Yeah, B. Griffin, that's right, LA beaches equals parks. Ozan with 399 Canadian. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. And Blackwater Boxing, $5. Hey, Action Kid, have you seen many homeless out there? They're out there, but they're not in every place in LA. You see a lot of homeless in downtown and sometimes by the public transportation hubs. In downtown, there's a notorious place called Skid Row where a lot of them set up shop. But it's just very sad to see them there. Laura, you don't believe that's one of the best areas? I mean, it is what you get, right? I don't have a control over the area where I walk in, if it's good or not. I like to show all parts of the city, good and the bad. Lori Brown with $20, welcome to Southern California. Thank you so much. Yesterday I showed the beach towns, the day before that I showed Santa Monica, and now we're in a residential neighborhood. Part and Filipino town, this is what it's like here. Seems pretty quiet, I don't really see any kind of like things that should cause up trouble here or anything. 
Mando says go to MacArthur Park for good and bad. I've heard that too. The roads here are really wide. Chris says it's not nice. You live in this area for years. Here's an auto body shop and collision repair. It's very green at times. Robert wants me to go to South Central LA. Yeah, I might go there one time. When I have some time, I'll go there too. Evan Cortez, it helps to speak some Spanish in the neighborhood. That's good because I know a little bit of Spanish enough to survive. That tree looks pretty interesting. It's kind of like an upside down cone. Your concern. I have a good sense of whether if an area is dangerous or not, and if the people will cause trouble. This block looks nice with all the trees. I'm about the edge of the Filipino town. Wait a second, it looks like I'm already in Rampart Village, but Filipino town and Rampart Well, that's not good. Yeah, there is good with it. Finally, with five support. Okay, it looks like the buffering went away, or the message that tell me it's unstable went away. Seems like uh, the internet is not as good as I thought. Tom says I should check out the more interesting parts of LA. LA is huge and there are a lot of boring parts that look the same. Well, that's for people to decide, you know? I don't really consider this as boring. This is very real. I get a perspective of how people live. I often don't like to see all the glamour like uh, Hollywood, I know if I go there all the time, or Santa Monica, 
I won't get a true feel of what Los Angeles really is. Miss the tech, you barely see anyone walking by. It's a quiet neighborhood. Most people here, they drive. Alright, so that seems to be the highway over there and I think this is Silver Lake Boulevard. I'll take this back to the neighborhood I'm staying at, Silver Lake, um, Silver Lake on Silver Lake Boulevard. Ian says, you think it's great showing a normal neighborhood to get a feel for most of what LA is, not the special spots that give you no idea what to expect. That's what I feel, right? If you're going to live in LA, you got to deal with the good and the bad, right? You're not going to be staying in Santa Monica all the time. All right. Like here, this is very real. Here we have Apple Street, right? And then you have someone here, or multiple people here. It's a sad reality, but it is. Yep, we got pigeons here. I'm gonna get out of the way. I don't want to get bird bombed. And then you got someone like that across the street. This is what happens here in Los Angeles. I gotta. Really bad. Set up on the side. underneath the cardboard box. Yeah, Jamie's, I'm well aware. I don't think I'll be streaming in 1080, 60 for a while. We're underneath the 101 freeway now. And this is what happens. It's unfortunate and you really feel bad for these people. I 
underneath the freeway. And they live in these tents. This is the Hollywood Freeway. It's good to know that. Why is it buffering? Sleep half says because people will attack, homeless attack people will record them. That can happen anytime. I am keeping myself aware of the surroundings. Let's see if I'm able to cross the street here. Monica says the internet's not great here. So I figured it figured it. I thought the internet would be a lot better in a more like regular part of LA, but it seems like it's not the case. Also, you didn't see what I had to do, but I had to step over all this broken glass. Yes, Dean, it's unfortunate what's happening here in Los Angeles with the homeless, but they are human beings also. Gas here, it is four dollars and ninety-seven cents for regular, five seventeen for extra, and four five twenty-seven for supreme. LA is known to have like the highest gas prices in the country. Thank you, Barnabas Bullpet, twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Send yesterday. But you're lazy, thanks for the classic AK Adventure showing us the real place we don't see on TV all the time. Thank you, and Agent Rico499, welcome to my city. You recommend exploring Sunset Boulevard and Silver Leak and Echo Park, similar to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. That's what I heard, that's where I'm staying. But I appreciate both of your support, thanks for the super chats. But it's just, I'm just gonna show you like the contrast between the neighborhoods because there we came from Rampart Village and Filipino Town and now we're heading towards Silver Lake. We may already be in Silver Lake. Let me just check the map. Yes, we are in Silver Lake. completely different neighborhoods. When we pass underneath the freeway there, there's mom's donuts and Chinese food to go in this location.
Yes, I Rivas, that's true. There are a lot of homeless who just stay here because the weather is generally the same year round and it doesn't rain all that often. So the connection is uh, better but not great. Streams. I'm not going to do 60. Here are the homes here. Less than where we were and ramp. Five dollars. You recommend visiting Griffith Observatory, Sunset Boulevard, and Melrose Avenue. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Here is Vendome Street. All right, I'll keep that in mind, Jamie. LA can't really handle 1080 60, I guess. If I really need to, I do 720. Chim Chan says it's a lake. lake. Very good. Street. I have so many suggestions already. But the Lena's or is it too late now? Far away from it, I'm Sunset Boulevard. I think the 
better. Wait a second, I'm still here. Someone said it ended, but I'm checking on my phone. It's still okay. Wooster, or Worcester, thanks for exploring your old hood. When you see the dog park, you're near the lake. My aunt and uncle nearby want to stop by there for a drink. I think I'm all right, Wooster. Thanks for the offer, though. All right, I guess it's back. I was going to stop it here and do 720p, but apparently we're back. And uh, Sunset Boulevard is just in front of us. Yeah, Charlene, I did try airplane mode. Whenever I have that unstable message, I go to airplane mode and then I turn it back. POV says I could stop it and switch to 720. I could, but it seems like I got better. If I start buffering again in Silver Lake and Sunset Boulevard, I think I'll start 720. It's really frustrating when you want to live stream and the cell phone service isn't great everywhere. At this point, like even New York City did better with the service. Got some graffiti and also a Mary praying mural. <clears throat> All right, Sunset Boulevard. Yes, Chimchar 545, I made it to Sunset Boulevard. And all of a sudden, the stream is more stable. There's an Italian restaurant across the street. Spaghetti, rigatoni, gnocchi. So that was Our Lady of Guadalupe with the Mary mural. Very nice. Yes, Susie, it's possible you can walk Sunset Boulevard all the way to the ocean.
there's a metro bus, the number four. Yeah, I hope the internet's better here too. How about that on Sunset Boulevard doing wheelies? Gash marks are really cool. Very nice. If the internet's not good here, then I don't expect it to get any better. Because this is the main area where everybody drives. There's a Comfort Inn hotel there. Squeegee dude, 50. If I'm going east, make sure to stop at Echo Park. Yeah, I've heard uh, Echo Park is really nice. I've seen it before from uh, German and Venice's videos that they cleaned it up and now it's all fenced off. You can only go in at certain areas. There's a Thai restaurant across the street, Khan Mei Poi. And there's a, another place called Golden Plaza Strip Mall. But there's donuts there, Family Dentist, Freedom's Restaurant and Bar, Lavenderia and Coin Laundry. Is yielding to me. Yes, forever. There's a lot of blink charging hubs for the electric cars. I notice a lot more electric cars here than other places I've been to. LA Cyclery. Ooh, it's a bike shop here. Bangkok Thai Massage, Thai Spa. There's also a Thai restaurant here. Wow, is this like a little Thailand area? Wait, no trespassing, private property. What happened here? It's got a gate over it. I noticed another Thai restaurant back there. Circle H Markets and Liquor. Cas K with 200 Japanese yen, LA native here, now expat. So glad I'm in LA. Thank you, Cascade. Appreciate it. Yeah, Audi, the connection is annoying when it happens, but it is what it is.
what is this? Pilates Punix. Looks clean in there. Yeah, Gushmog, I saw there's a Thai town near the Hollywood area. That would be interesting to see. Here's Coronado Street. Oh, we gotta do one of these to cross the street. Yes, Susie, that's a helicopter right there. Patty says connection is much better, but it kicks us out once in a while. Just have to refresh. Hope it's not like that all the time. I don't want to stay on Sunset Boulevard though. I'm gonna walk to the other side of the street and then walk in there. Too much traffic. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Adam Ohu, 499, welcome to the West Coast. Make sure you go to the Taco Zone food truck in Echo Park, it's a local secret. I can't really understand what that guy in the car is saying. <laughs> All right, walking signal. He's waving to me. I guess maybe he knows me. YouTube Action Kid on YouTube. What what YouTube channel? It's Action Kid. So if I look up there, I will see my face for one moment. Yep. Out there. I'll be famous. Yeah, you'll be famous. <laughs> yeah, I walk all around different places. Action Kid. Yep, it's my first time in LA. You said you walk around in all all around the places. Yeah, different places. It sounds like you're lost. That's what it's no, called. I'm not lost. I know where I am. What's your name? I'm Kenneth. Nice to meet I'll you. I'll bring you a job because I have the authority to hire you. We actually produce content. Oh, and cool. We need, and we need, what we need is people with cameras. All right. Well, I'm okay, man. Kenny, you can yeah. get paid to do what you're doing and you won't be lost. Instead, you'll be. I'm all right. Then. Be, it's nice meeting you, but I'm going to get going. Don't See you. around in circles recording nothing for nobody. I got it. Someday they might take the phone from you. Yeah, possibly, but I'm aware. Thank you. All right, offer me a job, but this is what I love doing. I walk around and doing stuff the way I want to do it. I decline his job on the spot. All right, uh, see him. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. A super chat. Patty at Rock. Thank you. This is Elsinore.
All right. Okay. Be back. Dark hole. What the heck? The cell phone service is only good on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> It's like you stray away from it for like five blocks and it's gone. We'll just stay on sunset at this point. Tim Char says, don't walk in circles. Yeah, ideally you don't want to walk in circles, right? That's very practical. Look at the nice murals across the street there on sunset. Kind of reminds me of Flappy Bird a little bit. Brutus, thank you for joining the membership. Appreciate it very much. Look at these homes here on the top. Nade my boot plug. Thank you so much for a dollar ninety nine. Appreciate it very much. Thanks for the support. You want to watch a sunset on Sunset Boulevard? I mean, that's the name, right? Sunset Boulevard. I'm sure the sunsets are great here. I've heard driving all the way down to the water is an experience. There's like so many billboards all the way down. Looks like Los Angeles has a garbage problem too.
All right, we've got a Chinese restaurant there. There's also Bangkok Palace and a 7-Eleven. Here's the number two bus. These buses, by the way, are free to ride. You just board in the back. And they come pretty frequently. I've seen them come as often as like every 15 minutes. Canaan Loft, Doggy Daycare. Mohawk Alley Animal Hospital. Hello, what's up? What the heck? What's up? <laughs> Man, I smell tons of weed coming from that car. I think they were high AF. AF. Here's Mohawk Street, Lux and Ville. Thank you, Mitsu M499. Thank you for the LA walk. Brings back memories. Appreciate it, Mitsu. What do they got over here? Huh. There's also ice cream shop there and fire station. Starbucks, Chipotle. Well, this seems to be a little bit more concentrated now. It's a lot more businesses within a smaller area. This has to be the Echo Park area now from Silver Lake. Yes, we're in the main area of Echo Park. Here's Botanica Yoshmar. Squeegee do say I'm I heard that's pretty nice too. That's right, Kathy. Weeds legal in Cali. Paul says LA chicks are hotter than NYC chicks. You all agree. I kind of feel like the chicks have the same body temperature. I don't know why they'd be cooler than the other or hotter than the other. There's a car wash across the streets. There's King Wicker, Brazil Tobacco. There's a lot happening here. K and K Donut. There's a 200 bus to USC. And there's no button here to press to cross the street. Oh great. What? 
Looks like this driver doesn't know what they're doing and they're getting honked at from the rear. That's pretty dangerous back there, seeing those people on the bikes ride right on the sidewalk and doing wheelies. Alright, walking sign is on. But even though we have the walking signal, we do have to be careful. I think we'll be fine here. Class said he caught a stream. Welcome to Cali. Woohoo, car culture. Yep, it's all about the automobile here. But don't get me wrong, you can get around the city with public transportation pretty easily. The bus system is very extensive and they're really building out the metro lines. Sean is asking if I've ever ridden a train yet. No, not yet. I intend to though in the future. Here, let's see. Oh, this one still has four minutes. A dollar per hour. That's not bad. But it's only one hour max, enforce 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. except Sunday. Football have I... To some extent I did. Something's happening down there. That's an echo park. Yeah, echo park is just down there. Maybe we'll go check it out. Thank you, Jose138999. Appreciate it. You see downtown, the downtown skyline in the background. Right there, the one with the pole is the tallest building in downtown. Yes, Aaron, you see the Los Angeles skyline, that's right. Okay. Oh, Geschmack saying it's the tallest building west of the Mississippi. 1,100 feet. That's pretty tall. Johnny says tallest in LA is the Wilshire Grand Center. I didn't know the name of it. 
but I just knew that was the tallest building. Wow, what is going on down there? Sounds like a protest. Oh, it's a for Cuba protest. Cuban. That's right, I see it now. They're getting a lot of support and honks. has Cuba protests too. Oh, they're marching out from Echo Park. Look at that. Rob says people in LA are nice for the most part, very friendly. That's what I've found too. They're really supportive and they don't mean to bother anyone. Even the homeless, they don't, they're not really too aggressive. Of course, there are those people who are going to be, but for the most part, people are nice. Let's go into the park entrance, Echo Park. I would think the Wi-Fi around this park should be pretty good. Wesley, I just passed a uh, Fox 11 news crew. Okay. All right, so this is Echo Park. I had some recommendations to come here. It was recently cleaned out. Let's go here and we'll go inside the park. Very nice. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very nice. Wow, this It's got public restrooms, water fountain, nice playground. This used to be a um, area where a lot of homeless camped out. I think this was just in like April or May that it was cleaned out, but now there's so many rules. Look at this. Park hours, 5 a.m. to 10.30. Bob says should be a sign to say what I can do. Didn't say no video recording, so we're not breaking any rules here. I'm still under the First Amendment. Yeah, and I got a couple remarks too that said LA cops don't like to be filmed. It's the First Amendment to the United States. That's the ultimate law in the United States is nothing higher than the U.S. Constitution.
It's a really beautiful park. There's also free Wi-Fi in this park too. There's paddle boats there. We can also get a nice view of downtown. But I do wonder if there's gonna be another exit in this park because you can only enter in certain places. Queen of the Angels, finally known as Lady of the Lake. Golden mango say this is gorgeous. I hope it stays this way. I hope so too. Bianca says there are exits, exits at the other end. Okay, we'll do that. Philip McNeil, you need to go here, it's nice. Yeah, this park is really nice compared to the area where I started off at, Rampart Village and Filipino town. You see extremes of the city within this small area that I just walked. Filipino town, Rampart, Silver Lake, Echo Park. The Lotus of Echo Park Lake. Very nice. I'll keep that in mind. With the fencing. coming in any entrance and setting up camp here. They want to um, monitor the entrance fences here. Captain Kirk says, uh, kind of stark compared to Central Park. I mean, it's nice for what it is. They've got Canada geese. There's some ducks here too. Very enjoyable. Look at that rainbow. You see it? Bobby says Balboa Park's awesome. Good to know. 
spending a lot of time and uh, water to water this lawn here. Beautiful swan boats. Wow, when's the next park exit? Man, come on. I don't want to get splashed with... It's bad. Oh. Yeah, class Echo Park is nice for LA. Why are there two levels of fences? They That's why there's so much fencing. There was police monitoring Here's a view from this side. Elysian Park is next up the road, up larger than Echo Park. Where is that coming from? What time is it here? It's 6 p.m. That's why that's going off. If I was able to exit over here, I would. <laughs> homes. Some of them are on the hilltops. Harmony says, how do you certain entrances and exits? I think one on the north end, the four corners of the park probably, that's it. Sandra says downtown LA doesn't look appealing to you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some videos in downtown LA as well.
boy oh boy what a All right, we're gonna cross over here. I finally exited the park. Let's go up this staircase. Looks kind of cool. Laurie says it's a nice park. Thank you for the walkthrough. Appreciate it, Laurie. Thank you. Now we're going into the neighborhood section of the hill, um, overlooking the. Pretty nice view. Although the power line here makes it look really bad. Let's see how the neighborhood is in this section. Okay, Bellevue Avenue and not a through street. It's a dead end street, ooh. Well, some nice homes. So you have to be careful because they're raised up. Anyone want a free chair? New York Life Loss has very nice home. The Echo Park neighborhood. I really enjoy it. Nice bird singing. Oh, gotta dodge this tree. Yeah, I got a little bit of a section there where it was buffering, but seems to have stabilized
and asking where is my destination. Any Bray Streets. Sounds like a morning dove. Oh, I think I see it. Well, that's one of them. Let this driver go. Yes, Jupiter. It is a looks like an old neighborhood. Wooden frame homes. Nice streets. Sometimes the Not a through. Yeah, the signal sucks. All right, so 
I've made it to Alvarado Street. Had to deal with a lot of bad cell phone service coming down. I think I'm going to end my live stream here just because I'm getting hungry now and I'm going to call an Uber to get back to my place and wash up. But if you enjoyed this live stream, smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the, the walks through all the neighborhoods here. Filipino Town, Rampart Village. Silver Lake, Echo Park, and through the Echo Park itself. But see you later.